Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB25 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over when to hard sell versus soft sell versus sway. Now, before we do get into the video, guys, if you are into the channel, make sure to subscribe as always. We're on the road to 30K. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that continues to subscribe each day. And of course, if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Every like helps. I appreciate all you that like as well. And comment down below if you have any questions regarding this or any advice for the guys who are viewing down below in the comment section. And if you haven't already, check out Underdog. My link will be down below in the description. And make sure to get your bonus now so you're ready when the college football season starts as well as the NFL season starts. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter down below. You can see my link. Great place to DM me, ask for some advice, tweet at me, send me your dynasties to rate, etc. So obviously everything starts in week zero when you go to your prospect board and you take a look at what's available and what you can potentially get. So the thing to look at here is, of course, when hard selling, swaying, or soft selling, that all occurs after you're in their top five. So of course, we're going to skip over to that, but make sure you set your board as always, get the players that you want in your board, start offering scholarships in week zero, and then of course, make sure to start throwing on send the house and other actions to make sure that you actually can go. I got, a, I got an insta recruit there. That was funny. But keep going through and just making sure that you set your board up. And then I'll skip over to one of the top five so I can show you guys the difference. Soft sell awards a moderate influence when choosing the correct ideal pitch with a lower penalty for being wrong. That's when you have some idea of what your recruit wants from the school. Hard sell awards the most when choosing the correct ideal pitch, but also has the largest penalty when wrong. Most useful when you know the recruit's ideal pitch or are desperate. And sway, if it's successful, will choose your ideal pitch as the recruit's ideal pitch. And it's easier to sway when the proposed pitch matches your recruit's pitch. I know that sounded like a lot, so let me go through this one by one. So essentially the soft sell and the hard sell are the same approach. The only difference is risk versus reward. So the soft sell is more of the moderate approach in the sense that if you're guessing, right, if you don't know, if you go back here, right, and you look at what they have currently, let's say we only have two and you can't figure out the other one. Let me drop the webcam for this so you guys can see it. If you look on the right over there, we only have two motivations. So let's say you couldn't figure out the third one for whatever reason and all the other methods don't work and you're scared of doing it wrong, you could always soft sell first and then go ahead and just do it that way, right? So let's say you did this. You want to find one with the two greens and you soft sell and you guess championship contender. And at least if you're wrong, you don't get hit with too much of a penalty. But if you're right, you get a moderate boost, right? Hard sell is like the aggressive version of it. Now, there's plenty of other methods to go along with that. So don't think that's the only reason you use them. I will get through this as we go through the video, but that's part of it. So a hard sell is essentially the stronger version of that in this instance. So again, remember to keep all the methods in mind. I'll go through them in this video as well for people who may not know them. So as you can tell, a hard sell, you got to get the three ideal pitches. So if you look through very quickly, there's a few ways to go through this. So there's one option here and that's basically the only option. Now, let's say you didn't know the other pitch. You can go here to deal breaker, pro potential, see if that one's available. We already have that one, so that wouldn't work. But process of elimination does bring us to this one. So a hard sell works in this situation. Now, here's where the caveat starts to begin on when to do things. Let's say championship contender for you was an F or like a D. Let's say you're a one-star school and it's the worst thing possible. In this situation, you may want to use a sway. And if you were to sway them, you could do this right here and you could try to get a better set for yourself. So let's say, let's say you had something here that was better for you. You'd want to include at least one of the other ones. So also keep that in mind. When swaying, the better chance of it working is really when you have things that work for that recruit to begin with. So let's say you were trying to sway a player into something. You'd essentially want those two greens to be a part of it. In this situation, it's not too helpful, right? With this recruit specifically, because you already have two and you want to get something other than championship contender for a low tier school. So keep that in mind. Sway works when you're trying to unlock another one. So you only get three green ticks of motivations. So let's say, for instance, brand exposure was an A plus and you really want to use your brand exposure one. You can essentially sway hopefully get it right using hopefully pro potential and program progression and use one that, uh, that lines up with it. Keep that in mind too. It has to line up, but for it to work well, you're going to need to have at least, or you should have at least two of your greens involved in it, or at least one at bare minimum. So you're going to want to look at see what includes two of your current greens. So right here, proximity to home would not be good for us. And if we keep moving down, you'll see if we have any other twos. So this one right here, grassroots. Let's say you were a one-star program, proximity to home for you was an A plus. And like I said before, your championship contender was an, an F or something really bad. In this case, you may want to do a sway here because if you sway and it, it works, your proximity to home one, if it was A plus, would then could potentially get converted into a green check mark. And now you have three with A pluses. Now, why is this important? This is important because a lot of people don't realize that although you have the hard sell on, the amount of the amount of influence it actually ends up having is solely based on how strong your hard sell is. So if your hard sell is three greens 
and they're all A pluses, let's say like the one right here, this is going to be a very strong influence. Every week you're getting a lot. Let's say you did one for me, which was proximity to home, playing style, and coach stability. Those are not my best things. So even though I'm hard selling, it may not have the best effect on a player. So keep that in mind when doing this, all hard sells are not created equal, and that's something to consider. Now, there are some other aspects to this and other methodologies that you can use to actually go about this. So another way to do this is we have 60 points available. That means we can essentially soft sell and hard sell. So there is a method here where especially when you're, it depends on what kind of school you are. If you're, if you're a top tier school, always hard sell right away. But you could essentially, if you want, if you ended up doing a sway early on to try to get one other thing as a small school, you can potentially sway them to get championship contender also on there, brand exposure on there. And then you have four green ticks. And then you can try to go ahead and do a soft sell with the new green tick plus the two others you have, and then do a hard sell with the one you initially did. So you would do a hard sell here, and then you can go ahead and do a soft sell and you could do it with the other one we had talked about if you had unlocked proximity to home and you could essentially get a soft and a hard sell in here at the same time now it works best when you do get other green ticks because if you don't have the other green ticks you're just using the same exact one it doesn't seem to be that effective so you're going to sell them on something else you're essentially able to get like four motivations five motivations depending now in a bigger program this isn't always the best thing to do only because you're going to be able to hard sell pretty early on with all a pluses the benefit of the sway is unlocking new grades and new motivations that work for your school a uh, top tier program like LSU, Alabama, Georgia, they're going to have all eight across the board. So really, so you can kind of do what you want there and sway what you want. It becomes a little more tricky when you're a lower school. So to wrap it all up and put it into perspective, right? So the soft sell essentially is when you're unsure. You only have one motivation unlocked, maybe one green. In that situation, you want to go ahead and potentially soft sell when you're getting desperate. You want to get into their top three. You're, you, it's time to start pitching. Or if a league mate already has the hard sell unlocked on them because they got more motivations and you need to get ahead or catch up. That's when you want to soft sell because it won't hurt you as badly. When you do know the motivations, you know at least two, and you can use the process of elimination method like I mentioned before. In those cases, you want to hard sell as soon as possible. Hard sell always as soon as possible. Then, if you're a low tier school and you have a bad grade, like I said, like I have academic prestige on top, let's say my recruit valued academic prestige. I do not want to be hard selling a C. I could utilize the sway to sway them to brand exposure or something else that does include my other two green ticks. And that way I can get a perfect A plus across the board. And then there's the third method with sway, which is when you're a low school trying to unlock two or maybe one more green motivation that way you can go ahead easily and then do a hard and a soft sell to double up on your on your recruiting points and what you can allocate with extra points of course you need at least 60 to do that but in most cases hard sell always soft sell sometimes and sway very occasionally that's the way i would really break this down i hope this breakdown helped you guys understand how this works i know a lot of people are kind of like looking at all these options but for me a lot of it you can kind of ignore ignore it's always send the house until you get top five depending on your points, depending on your school size, of course. But if you can send the house, send the house. And then when you get here, hard sell as soon as possible. Soft sell if you need to. Sway when you can or when it's necessary, especially with smaller schools. And make sure you're utilizing your points properly. Once you have the hard sell on there, make sure to keep hard selling. A lot of people, a lot of people send the hard sell one time and then go back to send the house. Once the hard sell is on there, keep it on there. You may add a few other things like a 10 to 5 or soft sell to it. But once the hard sell is on there, do not take that off. That is good to go. And then once you have the sway activated, take it off. And once you got the sway, don't don't leave it there take it off and now go back to the hard sell all of all everything leads back to the hard sell all roads lead back to that hard sell and that's pretty much it hope you guys did enjoy this video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up it helps the video out a lot and of course subscribe if you're new let's keep going to 30k and comment down below if you have any questions or any advice to add to this thanks so much for watching i'm out peace